Hello folks, Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. I have got to wash my car. I'm going to use free-flowing water, water from a hose. I'm going to get my car wet. Oh crap. As a mobile detailer, this is where the nightmare begins. I could be working in direct sunlight. Maybe some of you are worried about it too. I want to wash my car. I want to use my fancy wash mitt. I want to have my favorite car soap in a bucket. I want to get around this car pretty quick and then I want to rinse the car off. Now the panic kicks in. Well, panic's probably a pretty harsh word, but you get my point. We don't want any water spots on the car. So what are the methods that we have to be able to dry a car? Well, there's quite a few different methods. One, you don't have to dry the car if you don't want to. You can let the sun do it. <laughs> yeah. That sounds wonderful, and I'll tell you about 70% of the buying public, or 70% of the people who dry, wash their cars, probably just let their cars dry in the sun. We don't want to do that, right, because we don't want water spots. So that's one way you can let the sun do it. The second way is maybe you've got compressed air, and you like to use a little nozzle on the end of your, your, uh, your line, your, your, your compressed air hose. Well, those are great. Compressed air is great, especially with the end of that nozzle that's got kind of like a streamlined shot. You can get the you can get water out of those stubborn areas around the door on the door handles or in the creases. But trying to dry a car with a little nozzle at the end of an airline is a little bit difficult. It doesn't give you enough volume. It doesn't cover a large area. You, you literally would have to walk around this car pretty slowly to dry it. I think you get my point. The other thing that's very popular with a lot of professional detailers is the MetroVac. I like the MetroVac. The MetroVac is a high quality machine, but it comes at a cost. The big eight horsepower one with the two switches on it, what is it, like $400 for that machine? I don't know, but it's also a vacuum. That's cool, that's wonderful. But that machine there is awfully big, it's awfully bulky, it's made out of metal. Yes, it's got wheels on it, then it's got a hose attached to it. The hose on the end of that thing, the outlet for the, for, the, for the air is kind of narrow. It doesn't really give you a lot of surface space, so it's not going to push water off very quickly, but it is effective with drying a car. You just got to be a little bit more patient with it. Just my opinion, folks. I do love the MetroVac. It's a high-quality machine, but when it comes to drying cars, that's not the machine I choose. The other option you have is a leaf blower. That's pretty popular. Leaf blowers are great. Now we're getting into the realm of something that pushes a lot of air, also covers a larger surface space because the end of the outlet for the air for the leaf blower is wider. Great. Well, I'm going to show you a tool that I use to dry you off cars. I will do it quickly, effectively, and it's probably one of the most powerful dryers that look at me sweating like a pig. It's like 109 degrees with the heat end heat index heat index today. But I'm going to show you a tool that I have. I love it. I've been using it for years and I want to turn you on to it. Maybe some of you guys know it already. But let's say I'm washing this car. I've already washed it, which I have, and I still need to do that. But I'm going to do my rinse, right? I'm going to rinse off the soap. Now, what I will tell you, there is no wax or sealant on this car. Holy crap, Scott, you are a hack. You're a professional detailer. You don't put wax or sealants on your car. Not very often, folks. That's a whole other story for another time. But why do I bring that up? Because if you have a wax or sealant on the car and the integrity of that wax and sealant is still intact and you use some type of blower, it's very easy to push the water off, right? We, both, we all know that. The, the surface is very hydrophobic. This particular car does not have any wax or sealing on it, so it becomes a little bit more problematic. Well, in my reality, when I'm working with first-time customers, most likely they won't have a wax or sealing either. So I need something that's going to push that water off rather quickly, especially if I'm working in direct sunlight, even if there is no wax or sealing on the car. Let me get this car wet again. Let's play this game. What I'm going to turn you guys on to is a tool that I absolutely love. I cannot live without it. Here we go, you guys ready? I feel like Tim the Tool Man Taylor, here we go. It is a leaf blower, my friends. It happens to be made by, let me get in the camera. It happens to be made by Works. This is, the model number is WG520, what makes this machine so incredibly impressive. Again, I feel like Tim the Tool Man Taylor. Woo -hoo! I love this machine. It's 110 miles per hour. Some of you were like, holy crap, that's not enough that's not enough miles per hour worth of thrust. 
Well, when you're drying a car, it's really important to remember something, especially a car that does not have wax or sealant, and you want to push the water off the car, you want to look for a leaf blower that has high CFM. Is that cubic feet per minute? I can't remember, but it's CFM you're looking for. This works machine, the WG520, is 600 CFM. I don't know many leaf blowers that have that capability. This thing has a tremendous amount of thrust, lifting power to be able to pull and push the water off the surface of that car, even though there's no wax or sealant on it. What's also great about this thing, it weighs about six and a half pounds. It's very light. It's like holding a Griot's dual action polish in your hand. It's very well balanced. The other thing that's really cool, the switch on this thing is a var variable, I hate that word, I have a hard time with that, but a variable switch. I can go real soft and gentle with it, or I can turn that knob all the way to high to maximum. But I've got a lot of, I got a lot of, I got a lot of um, adjustment between low and high, which is kind of nice. But let me show you this thing in action. Let me get that car wet again because I talk way too much. So I'm going to get it wet, and now I'm going to show you this thing in action. This thing has so much thrust, folks. When you turn it on, you'll actually feel this thing want to pull your arm back. You've got to push forward. It's got that much thrust. But here we go. I'll drive this car quickly. That panel is about 95% dry. Why do I say that? Because I want to bring up a point. When you're drying a car with a leaf blower, first of all, it got a lot of the water off, even without a wax or sealant on it. That, that works leaf blower is out of this world. Tremendous power, tremendous thrust, even to drive water off a panel that doesn't have any wax or sealant on it. But when you're drying a car, this is a very important tip. It's the water beads that you're most concerned about. That's where you're going to get water spots. Those little water beads are like magnifying glasses. When the water, when the sunlight hits it, it magnifies and leaves the deposit on the surface of the paint. That's how we get a water spot. When you're drying a car with a fabulous blower like the Works WG520, you don't necessarily have to bone dry this thing. Make sure it's completely dry to the touch. You can if you want, that's up to you. What you want to do is push off a bulk of the water. You want to get rid of those water spots that are standing on the panel. Don't necessarily concern yourself about a water, a water line or a streak running down the panel. That's not necessarily going to be your biggest enemy in the moment. So when I use this leaf blower, I will push off 95% of the water very quickly. I'm not looking to make sure it's completely bone dry. I just don't want any water beads on the surface whatsoever, especially if I'm working in direct sunlight. Get around the car quickly, just get a bulk of the water off. If you then, after that, want to sit there and make sure every surface is bone dry, that's cool, that's up to you. But that's a little tip when removing water from the surface. Folks, this is one of the best, I'll say it because I've used them all. I've used MetroVac, I've used 
compressed air. I've used other sorts of leaf blowers. I have not found a leaf blower that has this much power, this much volume of air to be able to push the water off the panel as well as this works machine. I want to bring you into this car and show you what it looks like. Now if we look at the window here, there really is no water on it whatsoever. It took it right off. The panel itself is completely dry to the touch. And if we look around the car here, okay, I've got some water spots around this crease. That doesn't really concern me all that much because one, it's not a water bead. That's not going to leave a water spot in the moment. I want to get a bulk of the water off. If we look on the hood, I was able to push off a great volume of that water, but there's no water beads on the surface. That's fine. If I wanted to spend an extra minute, I probably could have bone dry. I could have made it completely bone dry, but I'm not really worried about it in the moment. This machine, this works, WG520, is $52. It is one of the most powerful, most powerful electric leaf blowers I have ever used, and it will push water off a car that has no wax and sealant off it better than anything else. If this car had a wax and sealant on it, holy crap, I can take, I could have spent half that time just trying to dry that panel. The water would have flown off this car so quickly, more quickly than just using like a Toro leaf blower that you would buy for $30. Just wanted to share that with you. I am in love with the works WG520, one of the best blowers for drying off a car. And it's great because now I don't have to touch the panel, right? So I touched it when I washed it. Now I've taken the process out of touching it during drying, which is important. Less opportunity to scratch it. The next video I'm going to make, as much as I love that machine, the next video I'm going to make is how I wash a car in direct sunlight and I don't use the blower to dry it. I, in fact, want the sun to be my best friend and dry the car for me and I will get no water spots. I will show you how I do that in the next video. Folks, take a look at this works. WG520, 110 miles per hour, 600 CFM for $52. It's got a three year warranty right out of the box. Unbelievable blower, one of the greatest blowers I have ever had my hands on to dry off vehicles. I wanted to share it with you. Thank you so much, love you all.